Hello, I'm Joe Wren. The Bloomington City Council could vote on a proposal for more than 4,200 homes on the city's southwest side as soon as May 1st. It's the right thing to do here, and we worked really hard to bring a proposal to you that meets the needs and concerns of the entire community at hand. The area really cannot handle too much more for the infrastructure for what you have. Uh, between uh, the seventh fire department that's now being proposed, that's a lot of cost right there. Now, Sudbury Development Partners wants a rezone of nearly 140 acres north of RCA Community Park. A regional opportunities initiative study says Bloomington needs more than 4,100 new homes by 2035. The city of Bloomington will want reimbursement if convention center leaders decide to move the expansion north. We need that TIF money for projects like Hopewell where we are focused on one of the city's main goals, one of my primary objectives, which is creating attainable, affordable housing right downtown uh, Bloomington. Thompson says she asked county commissioners for an equivalent land swap if the project does not use all county land for the expansion. The Capital Improvement Board is doing a formal inquiry to determine what land is available and at what cost. And Indiana tax revenues are ahead of where the state budget needs them to be, heading into the final three months of the budget cycle. That's despite collections in March that failed to meet expectations. Indiana's total tax collections are about $160 million ahead. That's about 1% better than planned. Quick check of the forecast for tonight, a 90% chance of thunderstorms lows down to 49 degrees. In the five-day forecast tomorrow, mostly sunny, 60 degrees. Sunny again on Saturday, bit cooler, mostly sunny, 50 on Sunday. We have more news online, WTIUNews.org.